from her iconic French Open cat suit to her dazzling ballet-inspired ensemble for her final appearance at the U.S. Open, Serena Williams has consistently captivated audiences with her on-court and off-court style throughout her illustrious tennis career spanning decades. Reflecting on her remarkable journey in an exclusive interview for People's 50th Anniversary cover story, Serena delved into her trailblazing victories and the enduring legacy she's forging for her daughters, Olympia and Adira. Recalling past fashion moments, Williams revisited a 2003 People feature where she famously declared, I've been on worse dress lists and I don't care. In 2024, Williams maintains the same sentiment. Listen, I view being included on worse dress lists as having significance, Serena asserts. I've cherished every style choice I've made. You may not always love them in hindsight, but I value them. As the visionary behind S by Serena, she emphasizes, fashion is a form of self-expression, reflecting your personality and identity. Sometimes it's the only way the world perceives you. So whether it's the best dressed or worst dressed list, it's all intriguing. With a chuckle, she adds, well, at least I made a list. Furthermore, Williams notes the resurgence of 2000s fashion, pondering her wardrobe from that era. I mean, when I glance through my closet, do I find much from back then? Not really, she muses. I do keep some items, but, you know, my body might not fit into them the same way it did back then, she laughs. Whether praised or critiqued, Williams asserts she harbors no fashion regrets. I've worn numerous ensembles both on and off the tennis court. I've showcased some extraordinary red carpet looks, she reflects. I've experimented with various styles, but you can't undo any of it. I embrace them all. When queried about her proudest achievement in her career, Williams swiftly points to her resilience. The tennis icon highlights her ability to endure through adversity and triumph over the course of two decades. Staying in the game despite the highs and lows is what I'm most proud of, she declares. It's a quality in athletes often overlooked, but I take pride in my perseverance. I consider myself fortunate to have achieved that. 